So it turns out that chip is a MC11489B, which is made by Motorola, and it's a LED display driver, pretty much. So it's, uh, yeah, seven segment displays. So anything with common cathode. Okay, so we have to drive with anode then. So, woo! <laughs> so there's how that works. I'm not sure how to, well, we have to send a clock signal, so it's time to get out the Arduino. Drive it for five volts, that's fine. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and, okay, block diagram. So we have data in, we have a clock signal, we have an enable pin. That makes sense. We have data out, and then we have each of the anodes and bank switches. Okay, so I'm just going to look at the example that they give and um, try to test it that way, because that's easy. <laughs> Did they not give... Okay, here we go. Well, there's a bunch of fancy stuff. Uh, I might see if there's a library for it entirely, because I'm not going to write that much code. So, that's simple enough. Voltage and then ground, and then we have data, data clock and AO. Uh, data out, we can ignore that, I'm going to assume. And that's how it's wired up. I presume it's wired up the same way as well. So all I have to do is locate these two, these pins. So let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so data out is in fact ignored on this because this has five wires on it going into it. So I just have to probe that and look at where each goes, and then I can see if I can drive this thing. And we also have that one there, but we're going to ignore that LED for now. So we'll just make sure this thing even works.